Welcome to another Gibbs Cam version 14 video. Today we're going to show you how to do uh, TMS. I have another video on TMS, but this time we're going to show you how to do TMS combined with machine sim. Now here we have a, we're going to run this part on a horizontal. In this case, uh, it's a four-sided tombstone. This is my actual part. If I bring up my document page and go to my multiple parts, and set up my stock and fixtures. Let's bring out our stock first. So it's in the body bag. Let's bring it out here. I'm going to click on my stock and I'm going to click on Git. And you can see I have the layout as uh, one part in X, four in Y, and four in B. And if I rotate this around, you can see where the part is going on our tombstone. That's the nice thing about TMS. You only need to program one part and you can tell Gibbs how many you want in the X and Y and how many sides you want whether it's a four-sided tombstone octagon hexagon it doesn't really matter it makes it real easy to program your parts so this is my uh, stock here let's close that let's uh, put that back in the body bag let's bring up our tools I just have some uh, simple tools here just to five different tools just a standard, uh, bring this over here. Just a standard uh, Cat 40 end mill holder, a little bit bigger um, drill and a smaller end mill. And I have a probe this time. Uh, this is going to be a Renshaw probe for probing, OMP 60. And there's my specifications for my stylus. Now with the Gibbs probing, you can choose a lot of different types of probing and how you want to probe. So we're going to show you a little bit of that as well. If I bring up my cam software my for the operations, you can see this is what I want to do on a program program the probing for each side of the tombstone just one part on each side so I'm just gonna program this top part here you can see I'm just just gonna do a rectangular boss uh, and I'm gonna have it set a work fixture for me or update the work fixture I already have set up my probe length where I want to probe I'm doing of course a rectangular boss you can see you can do circular boss uh, rectangular pockets etc and put your distances and everything else there that you need then you just click on the geometry and click on do it and you can see the probing routine there already now I'll just go through the rest of these operations pretty quickly this is just doing the roughing inside here I just have it on the rotate tab to go to the main side which is normally my G54 side your main side that is facing the spindle next operation uh, cutting the 45 degree on this side of the, my right side next one cutting it on the left side again drilling right side left side you can move those around if you like if you want it to uh, not rotate as much and here I have finish end mill right side, finish end mill left side. Now when I bring up my multi-part and set up TMS, bring this over, you can see I have my counts here just like I did on my stock. And I told it I want to do the Y first, so it's going to go from the top down and do the Y. I'm going to go one way and I told it that I want to program this by the tool and coordinate system and here I have my different coordinate systems and how I want to uh, uh, program the probe I don't want the, I don't want it to probe every single part just one part at the top of each of the each side there so this is my layout here you can see I just have the first X first Y all the B's and this is my layout here same rotation here I can have it output my G10s automatically by checking these boxes output this output WFO will output my G10s for my program and in this particular case we're going to show you show you a uh, machine sim for NHX 5000 DCG Mori 
Actually, it's just a NHX 5000, not a DCG. That was the NH 5000. So we just had the machine sim finished here. So we're going to show you the how that works. So this is all programmed now. So let's just show you the operation sim. So once you click on that, you can see Gibbs lays out all of our parts on our tombstone. All ready to go. And we'll slow this down a little bit. You can see the probe's going to come in. Let's show you the tool actually. There's the probe. Speed this up a little bit. Then we start doing the milling. And we'll speed this up for time. And you can see all the parts are done on all four sides of this tombstone. Okay, now we want to bring in the actual machine and show you how it runs on the machine. This, is, this will do some, uh, uh, show you visually uh, how close you're getting to fixtures, etc. Uh, machine sim is very helpful when it comes to that. So we're going to change this to, instead of op sim, machine sim. It's going to bring in my machine. Let's turn it on so you visually can see it. Look through the window there. Of course, you can always uh, hide these uh, doors and things like that, but it'll automatically do that when I start running the program. If I just single step through, you'll see it'll uh, hide all the sheet metal there. You can decide what you want to have hide, hidden, or not. And so let's play this. So you see the first thing it's going to do, it's going to probe, rotate, probe the top one on this one. It'll set our fixture offset for that side, which is normally G55. This is the third side, which is normally G56, or what we like to use is uh, G55. 54 P1 through P300. Now it's going to change tools and start running the rest of this part here. We'll speed this up as well. And you can decide how you want the pallet to rotate. You can see I'm going clockwise and counterclockwise. Depends on how you want it to run. You can choose any way you'd like when you're doing uh, TMS. So you can watch the rendering and decide which is going to be the fastest for you and how you want to program it. So you can see our part is all done now. Last tool in the spindle. And there's our machine there. Of course, we can build uh, the simulations for any machine that you happen to have in your shop. It doesn't have to be a, a Mori. It can be an Akuma, Mazak, um, any other Doosan, any other brand that you would like. If you have a 3D model of the machine, we can build simulation for you and have everything interact. Thank you for watching.